Welcome back everyone. I have just hit the 1000 subscriber mark on my channel and to celebrate I wanted to answer a few questions from some of my viewers and also discuss some things including some stuff about my channel going forward. Let's begin. I'm going to jump right into a few questions I got from some of my followers on Instagram. To start off, GP Coasters asks, What new credits are you most anticipating next season? Great question. I do not have really concrete plans as of yet, but I do have an idea of parks I'd like to visit. I'm looking very much forward to possibly getting to experience many great coasters in 2020, such as Skyrush, Phoenix, Candemonium, Orion, and possibly El Toro, my number one bucket list coaster, as well as Jersey Devil Coaster should it be open if I visit Six Flags Great Adventure. Rat underscore 69 underscore. How many parks are you going to visit in 2020? This is sort of expanding on what I said about my first question and that I don't have any solid plans currently, but I am hoping to get to at least three new parks for 2020, as well as Cedar Point, obviously, and Kings Island. I really would like to get to the major Pennsylvania parks I haven't experienced like Knobles and Hershey Park, as well as possibly Six Flags Great Adventure at some point. I have thought about hitting up Six Flags Darien Lake since it is only a four and a half hour drive, and I may also try to squeeze in Dorney Park while I am in Pennsylvania. Even abbreviated to those parks I just mentioned, these plans are a bit ambitious in scope, so I am not sure all of these will happen. Wherever I go, I am looking forward to many great new experiences at new parks and crossing off some of my bucket list coasters. Downhill Adrenaline here, who by the way has been a really big supporter of my channel ever since very early on. In January, when I had 34 subscribers, he did a shout out video for me. I probably got a good 9 or 10 subscribers off of that video, which was really cool, and he's supported me ever since. Go check out his channel if you don't know who he is, Downhill Adrenaline. Back to the questions here, he asks what my favorite channels are with 1,000 subs or less and with more than 1,000 subs. Well, I'm going to highlight several channels under 1,000 subs, as there are so many great ones. Coaster Hipster, 808 Coaster Life, That Intamin Guy, GP Coasters, and Coaster Hour are all great channels under 1,000 that you should definitely check out if you haven't already. They all have great information and quality content with a great production, and some of these are channels that really help to inspire me in creating my identity as Coaster Daddy. My favorite channel over 1,000 subscribers I also can't give just one example there, so I'm going to list a few channels that really inspired me in creating my identity and talk about them a little bit. And some of these I have watched since they had very few subscribers and only a few videos. Airtime Thrills first of all is way up there. He's great at supporting the community as a whole, and I discovered his channel quite a while before I finally created mine, and at the time he only had about 4 videos and something like a few hundred subscribers I believe. His channel has really taken off more recently, now sitting at over 16,000. I've also discovered that we think very much alike on many subjects, and we also have somewhat similar stories as far as being enthusiasts. Amusement Insiders is another big one. I watched the many speculation videos surrounding Yukon Striker when it was beginning construction way back in early 2018. This channel has created some of the most interesting, unique, and professional content out there on the roller coaster industry. The channel recently has taken a bit of a different approach compared to what it used to be, and personally I've never been partial to blog style videos for the most part, but much of the early Amusement Insiders content helped me to shape what I wanted to do as a coaster channel. El Toro Ryan is a guy who is genuinely really cool as I ran into him at Cedar Point and his content, though much of it being in a blog format, is some of the most entertaining out there. But he also does what are in my opinion probably the most in-depth reviews out there and I have learned quite a bit from him as well. Theme Park Crazy always delivers with super high quality production value and very informative videos and is among my very top favorite coaster channels. Xcream Thrills is another channel that has been growing very well recently and for very good reason. Derek provides really high quality in-depth reviews and provides some great footage of many fantastic roller coasters. A few other ones I'll mention quickly are also Parks Bros, Rampaging Rex Productions, my friend Zach with Theme Park Media, Cedar Flags, and Expedition Theme Park. Keep the fantastic content coming. Well, that was a long answer to those questions, but back to the questions from Downhill Adrenaline. His next question, most visited park, Cedar Point. Most anticipated park next year, Hershey Park. Airtime or inversions? Airtime. And finally, the most important question of all, of course. On a scale of 1 to 10, 
what is a microphone? Yes or no? Well, a microphone is yes, but no, it is not a 10. My last question is from e.frank0054. What is the most aesthetically pleasing park I've been to? That is a bit difficult for me. I would have to say either King's Dominion or King's Island. Both of these parks have such great charm and atmosphere despite being large Cedar Fair parks. King's Island is just very well rounded and great looking while having a ton of huge coasters. And King's Dominion just blew me away with how beautiful it looked. I really wasn't expecting that going in. And King's Dominion as a whole is very underrated in my opinion actually. To wrap things up, I want to let you guys know a bit about what you can expect from me for the rest of 2019. I will be doing a brand new updated favorite coasters video, which will be vastly different from the video I did last December, seeing as I got over 30 new credits this year. It will be something like the top 15 probably with a few honorable mentions. I also will do at least one more video under the Christmas Daddy moniker, and I want to discuss some of my favorite Christmas albums. Let me know if there are any other holiday videos you'd like to watch from me as well. Something I want to touch on as well, with all of you lovely viewers, is that my friend Zach of Theme Park Media, who I collaborated with recently, designed a brand new logo for me, and I plan on rolling out the new branding in the new year, so be on the lookout for that. I think you all will like it, it looks great. To add on to that, and this is something I'm just throwing out there and I've not developed this at all yet, but if I were to set up a merch store and make things like Coaster Daddy t-shirts, hats, mugs, etc. available to all of you, how many people would actually seriously be interested and intend on purchasing anything of the sort? I feel like I should maybe wait to roll that out when I have established myself more, but if there is enough interest, I may consider doing that. Just let me know if that is something you would actually purchase if it were to happen. I don't exactly know if there is any interest, likely not, but I figured why not ask and try to gauge it. Thank you all so much for making 2019 an awesome year for my channel. It is the first full year for it, seeing as I founded the channel in September 2018. I've seen a lot of growth, only having subscribers in the very low double digits in January. And what made reaching 1,000 subscribers so exciting for me personally was that it happened on my birthday, December 1st. What an awesome way to celebrate. By the way, fun fact, Raptor was open the year I was born. Not too shabby, if I must say so myself. Thank you all so much again for supporting my channel for all of this time, and of course, welcome to all of my newer subscribers as well. I love making these videos and interacting with other coaster geeks out there, so I look forward to seeing all of you in the comments, comments, comments. So I look forward to seeing all of you in the comments and in the parks next year. Be sure to like my page Coaster Daddy on Facebook and follow me at Coaster Daddy Official on Instagram. This is Coaster Daddy. Bye.